In this video, we will go over these three examples. Now, I suggest you pause the video and try these yourself. And try and find the angle theta in radians, and then convert the radians to degrees. So let's go ahead and we'll do it now. You can see here we've got the angle here, and we can see that the length here is opposite that angle, so this is going to be the opposite. So this must be the adjacent, and this must be the hypotenuse. So in this case here, we're going to have a ratio of the opposite to the hypotenuse. So we've got opposite over hypotenuse, which is the sine function. Now we're trying to find the angle. So we can say that the angle theta is going to equal the arc sine of the ratio 5 divided by 13. Now you can put these values into your calculator or find an online calculator. So here's an example here with the online calculator and we're looking to find theta which is equal to arc sine 5 divided by 13. So in this case here we're in radians, so we're wanting to inverse sine 5 divided by 13. And that gives us 0 0.3948. So the answer to that is 0.3948. And remember, this is in radians. So we can also get the degrees by using our conversion. So our theta in degrees is going to equal the 0 0.39 Four eight times one eighty upon pi, and that's going to give us an angle of twenty two point six two degrees. And again, you can check that on the calculator if you get through the same process, but you try it in radians. So if I press cancel. And I'll go to, sorry if I try it in degrees, so you press degrees and you going inverse sine and we've got our 5 divided by 13 is equal to the 22.62 degrees. So let's move on to the next one. So we're looking to find the angle theta. We have the opposite here. So this must be the adjacent. And this is the hypotenuse. So what we're going to have is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is equal to a cosine. So the angle theta is going to equal arc cos of the ratio 12 upon 13. So that's going to give us the value whenever you work it out again is 0.3948 and again it's the angle 22.62 degrees and that's right because we're just dealing with exactly the same angle as in this example here and finally if we look at this one here we're going to have the opposite we're going to have the adjacent and this is going to be the hypotenuse and we're looking at the opposite divided by the adjacent which is the tan function. So we're looking at the angle theta is going to equal the arc tan of the ratio 5 divided by 12. And again, it's going to give us the value in radians, 0 0.3948. And when we convert that to degrees, Again, it's going to give us the 22.62 degrees. So in all cases here, we've really just got the same triangle and we're working out the same angle, but we're working out the angle using the, the inverse sine, the inverse cos and the inverse tan. So that's us covered the basics of our 
six functions that we're going to start off with which are, are our sine, cos and tan and our inverse sine, cos and tan. So let's go ahead in the next section and we'll start implementing these in the quartic algorithm. So thank you for listening. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.